Yes! There we go. Ah, uh, for whatever reason, YouTube decided to literally trash all my savings for my streams. So, hello guys. Sorry for the delay, but YouTube decided to trash everything. So, let's get started. What's up, Creamy McLeamy? I am sincerely sorry for YouTube being YouTube. It, I literally came in, it didn't have, it had my channel logo as the thumbnail. It had the title as Sir Lagna's live stream. It had the description completely blank. None of my presets saved. Not even my stream key was saved. So, it was a mess. But I'm here. We made it. Now YouTube's sending me an email saying, Hey, you're live. Oh, thank you, YouTube. But I think that's because I kind of keep track of my YouTube slightly different. I keep track as if I'm a viewer as well, so... Uh, let's see. This? Nope. Oh, close. Close, YouTube. You close to what I want. Go here. There we go. And go back to live stream. Uh, what's wrong with my YouTube health? There you go. Check resolution. Okay, YouTube. You're insane, but okay. Now it's fine. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys for literally like the last two weekends. Yes. The last two weekends have been an incredible time on YouTube right now for me. Uh, we're, at, we're up 57% in views. 251% in watch time and 50% increase in the subscribers. So, it's been amazing. Thank you all so much. Like, I don't know how much I could thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that he's getting a birthday gift for her. I'm just waiting for this game to load up. Hopefully we don't have any crashes. Hopefully. Cross fingers. Ah, he came home just in time then. My computer is just dying. Actually, it's not dying. It's pretty normal right now, but man, 14 gigabytes, oh, that's a lot. I don't see any errors, so most likely gain in. Yay! Congrats! I know you told me her name last night, but I have horrible memory, so I believe it was Kate, but I'm not sure. But congratulations! Yep, we're in! 15.5 gigabytes. Uh, I don't know how much more we could go on this machine before it breaks. Let me turn my audio down a little. It's a little loud for me. If the, audio, if the music's loud for you guys, then that's a thing. Whew. Okay, so we have a budget issue. I remember that. We need to figure that out. Which, in reality, is not much we can figure out other than continue building a neighborhood. Which, I guess we could build out this way now. But I think, uh, I recall, we're gonna 
bear it this way real quick. Bear this a little bit and hope that that recovers our budget. Uh, budgeting is hard, guys. Uh-oh. Fighting the big boss. Keep this rock formation, so we'll try to build around it. Okay, I need to make sure I'm at 90. If I predicted. Hmm, 90. Pipes, please be cheap. Have half not. I think we might just have to expand our taxes again. But I really don't like just expanding our taxes over and over again. Because that shows a very big negative somewhere. You should not punch your bosses in their nose, no matter how smart or idiotic they are. Uh, we should figure out a budgeting issue though. Because somewhere something's just not adding up. Don't know where yet, but somewhere it's just not adding up. And I can't keep doing that. Nice! It's always good to have a paycheck coming in. Go. Okay. We almost have one week with this town so far, and we're failing it completely. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is horrible. All of industry is just disappearing on us. And they just can't keep up their taxes. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we need to look at this budget as we're sorting this out. Hmm. <sighs> Where could we cut? Where could we cut? We have a lot of money in roads so we could cut. But we kind of need the roads. Be careful. Don't don't mess around with rattlesnakes. snakes. They are very dangerous. Hopefully we can just run this and get some profit back out. What is stopping this one line of traffic? There we go. Oh, I 
really see what's happening. Uh, oh wait, I know how we solve this. We solve this like we solved the last one. Both of you stop. Hopefully that resolves traffic. Oh, very nice. Okay, I thought I was gonna solve tra traffic. <sighs> People don't follow street law. Let's clean up some of this traffic real quick. We better back up on that end. Switch this to stop, and we'll switch this to stop. And they're not following it. Okay, let's see. What if we kick on traffic lights? Okay, traffic lights seem to have solved the issue. Except these guys still just whenever they want. Uh, hey, the best place ever. Oh no, where where is this best place ever? I guess the good news is we're making money as we're doing this, but... I really don't like this traffic server right now. Uh, I have never heard of that place, so I would have no clue. Since they're not going to follow the traffic laws too well, we're just going to turn them off. Let's see, do I get the priority how I want it? Can we get both of them to stop? That one stopped. But both of them go at the same time. No, we want you to be your Okay, let's Is that how that should go? I don't think so. That doesn't make logical sense, but it seems to be working. We'll keep it, see what happens. I could understand it. Either that, New Mexico, or, uh, oh no, they're not, I know what happened. Remember I switched this all to all community. So now everything's doing all industry. That makes sense. It wasn't taxes at all, it was all. Everyone's digging into the ground now for precious metals. Okay. Which, that's good. That's good. Okay. We got some industry booming. We got some cops here. Um, okay. So maybe it's not actually or doom and gloom like I was saying before. But since we have the money coming in, let's 
expand this out and actually build this in the neighborhood area. Oh, thank you. I'm very appreciative of that. of blue right now or at least get woo that isn't the angle I wanted at all all that to last be year horse economy three smashed PC okay. sales records and catch up with you real quick now the hit equine economic simulator has a new expansion that delves into the cutthroat world of real estate horse economy three stable markets okay. can you work your way from lowly horse to be the head of a major real estate empire? Can you spin your holdings into a billion dollar conglomerate? Can you work your way under the fence and out of your pen and onto your life as a property mogul? Spreadsheets have never been hotter. Pre-order now and get a free horse hat. Horse Economy 3, stable markets. Buy low, sell hay. Elle here, I have a question for you guys. Do you ever wonder how the mailman delivers mail to the whole city every day? And what about when the mail comes from another city and he has to go get it before bringing uh, it here? Sorry. I can see why stamps are so expensive. Anyway, if you're listening, mailman, this one's for you. It's Super Salmon Days down at Fish Brothers. For a limited time, bring in any okay, fish. Okay, and we are good there. You heard right. Bring in any fish and get a free child salmon entree. I mean, and hey, at least you're drinking. Fish. And drinking is one around, of the best in. things Got you can do for your body. Feeding, bring it in. Drinking water and stuff. that's been sitting in the sun for a few days? Bring okay. it in. We'll throw it in with the rest of them. What we do with the fish is nobody's business but ours. Just enjoy your salmon, eight ninety nine, with our famous stew. So there we go. Welcome on in. Now we got oral businesses going on here, collecting dorts and stuff. Square packages. The packaging specialists are proud to present a box on both your houses. Yeah. The untold story of the oral. invention of the box and the family rivalry that nearly destroyed it. It's Never drink soda, wow. Finding acceptance that is quite and the inventing impressive. the most efficient means of shipping and packaging that mankind has ever known. Proving that to find what's in your soul, so, you have to look yep, I'm, the box. I prefer the style a lot better. Which is a house, your home. And that truly yeah, that is so the greatest box of all. Tune in every Wednesday okay. night. I think we're safe enough to lower our taxes again. So that was the issue, is we did a major industry change. And when we did that, everyone moved off because it was technically illegal for them to work there anymore. So now we're back to industry problems, which is fine. I'd much rather have industry problems. But 
We're gonna let everything settle real quick. We got some cops issues here. So. Also, did we add a new district? I don't think we did. No, no new district yet. Let's add that real quick. That's fine. Enjoy time with your friends. Just know I'll always be here. <laughs> okay, where's that truck? That truck's right there. So we should be fine now. We did add the other power plant. Yes, we did. Cool. We're good on power then. How did you get the name Sir Legna? Oh, many, many decades ago. Back when I first wanted to have a, a account on something. Back in RuneScape days. Um, so, needed a username. I was a little kid, didn't know anything about really good usernames. So, a new store was a, like, powerful, uh, I guess prefix, or whatever you'd call it. So, wanted store in it, couldn't come up with a good name, didn't want to put my own name there because people on the internet are scary people, and couldn't come up with a good one, so I just kept thinking and I eventually came across the idea of spelling a word backwards in which I spelled angel backwards I liked the sound of it Legna and that was history and ever since then I never saw the need to change it so that's the history of my name what's your issue no Buyers. Well, I don't really have any more area to add any buyers, so. The money's going down. Nice. Got crime going. This traffic's pretty much smooth sailing. This traffic has its ups and downs, but it seems to be going decent now. Primarily because of that staging. Zachary Watt Smith, is that how you would pronounce it? And that's when you go wrong, completely wrong, 
colossal or resources. Everywhere is a colossal or resources. Except, nope, nope, these are colossal or resources as well. Okay, we are slowly climbing up there. Yeah, we got a nice little strip right here. Let's see, what district types can we put? General industry, wooden, farming. We haven't unlocked tourists yet. Please, community? Model, yeah, okay. I was like, I don't recall those being in here. We still haven't had a, uh, Disaster yet, so that's really good. We could start adding buses or trains or taxis. I kind of want to do a train system, even though no, it would most likely be a or to get poorly implemented right, it'd be interesting. We could have a train all the way down here. Have it travel up. The circle might have to get readjusted slightly. That building is, these two buildings are completely not where they should be. The funny thing is, I don't have proper anarchy on, so I don't know why these buildings are so close. But hey, it is what it is. Oh yeah, the police cars. I guess that's how it is, is if, as long as the platform is green, it's fine. But if the platform becomes orange, it's bad. That is a huge building right there. Yep. And then there's the Six Knights house. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot we had a last minute uh, person add their sim. So, there's Daniel. So, we can keep track of Daniel. I'm sorry for forgetting you about you, Daniel. You're now 16, so. In some places, that's old enough to be classified as an adult, so now you'll be remembered. Oh yes, I'm, I like how this industry area is coming together. And I like how he just kind of blatantly cuts off right here. So. Okay. Red Rocket. 
What's this building? Alright, just a sushi shop. Yeah, I don't know. You want to be a house? Okay, where... Which neighborhood do you want to be in? You also could be a business or an industrial building. I'll let you quickly decide that. I'm gonna keep on looking around in the city as it builds up. Or you could be one of the placement buildings, so like the cemetery, the police station, all that stuff. Let's see, we're gonna get tourism. We're gonna get the highway I like. Some fancier roads. That's that. Um, police headquarters, fishing, blah, blah. Yep. And Kent. Let's see here if I can find Kent. Okay, we found Kent. Kent is a big neighborhood, okay. So I'll break it into sections. You got this road, or row one, row two, row three, row four, five, and six. So you got Holly Street, Emma Street, that's kind of looped around. Um, Home Street, Cooper, Lewis, and Emma Camber. Campbell, and then we just you go up and down the street. You want to be a fast food place right in the center? Well, I think the center, if I had a guesstimate, would be here-ish. So fast food place would be right here. Let's see. You got pennies. Um. You got the marketplace, you got organic foods, Sally's, whatever this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, welcome, 45 Gunnel. We're trying to find uh, uh, Creamy McLeamy, the food place he wants to be. Chick fil A. Where's Chick-fil-A? I don't have a Chick-fil-A, I don't think so. We don't have any food places in Kent, so... You got this main strip, in and out. Um, I'm trying to find... Boston Pizza, 7-Eleven if you consider that a food place. Pennies? Okay. There's pennies. And what do you want it to be called? Creamy McLeamy. Oh, sorry, it's a historic building now. So we'll always be on the edge of William Street, across from Robin Street. So I just need a name now, Kimmy McLeamy. Unless you wanted to name it Pennies. Because right now it's just named Convenience Store. Zach's Breakfast. Yes. These gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth. Raising off the lush vegetation and it's a historic building, so we'll and definitely come back and check that building out and as the city grows. On and it's on one of my favorite streets. It's that legacy so. that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon. Look at that industry. Oldest form of so much industry is booming. 
Dino oil. Oh yeah, we were gonna uh, education. Bones. There was education need. Yeah, there was a big education need. Even if it's just elementary school, we city, need it. I see people doing so many interesting things. Um, can I working, get? Yes, I can. Bike, right there is our elementary sandwich? school. The city has a lot to offer. So what and do you I'll do put the high school in Kent radio. somewhere. I don't know. know where yet. In the meantime, I might pour out, music. put it on this edge the here. Is over. It's finally I already here. poured out Friday night chili bowling right and there. Andy's bowling alley. Every Friday night, anyone who buys at least so. two games of bowling I'll keep some people educated. So keep don't wait. Educated Book people. Now. Due to recent incidents, the chili will only be and distributed at the end of your visit. That way you can enjoy it wherever you want. In a park, at home, or on a construction site. In the meantime, yeah. you'll have all the fun that we have Zach's provide. breakfast so now, come on right back and here. be reminded that you're I'm not actually that good at bowling. Andy's bowling alley. I wish I was able to, to change the name I put Zach's we breakfast. We want you to trust but. us with your money because it's with your money that we can make, make you more. You got money. two no, overly educated workers, business. but you're almost poorly staffed. You Only one job available. So. That's the plan at least. Maybe Let's that's too complicated. Imagine planting a money tree in the ground and watering it. Right now you got two Britneys, Britney W and Britney Holmes. Britney Holmes is old. You want to go money fishing, so you use. Oh, you're gonna drink soda for the first time. Just come in and talk to us. We have even more metaphors. I think you're going weak. Saying what we really do with your money. And you're actually right across from Mountain Church. Hey listeners, that's awesome. That's actually like an awesome little tidbit. And Mountain Church gets tons of visitors. Oh my gosh, so many visitors at Mountain Church. 65 in the last 20 minutes. So, that's awesome. And it's nighttime now. We are so close to the next level. Then I, I don't know what we're gonna do in the next level. We might put a high school down? What are you complaining about? Low business value, or low land value. Let's resolve this real quick. Mm. Medieval barn? Put a medieval barn right there. Right on the corner right there too. Aw, well I'm glad you at least enjoyed it. Let's see, is there any other place? Could put a baseball stadium. Should we put a baseball stadium here? There's no good location for it, but we could put it there. Kinda like the idea of playing it right next to the rocks. Kinda to protect it. We put a little farmer's market. Can't leave this I can put anywhere. So. Two by two. Another little farmer's market. And build your own. No clue what that is. A rectangle barrel of hay. Sure, I play baseball. Okay, we'll put a baseball right next to the rocks. Look at all the happy people we made. Hopefully that increases this guy's land value. That's a dark stadium right now, but... Also, that's some hills. We got some hill. But luckily, the field looks pretty flat. So. Look at those scores. What is it? Ninth inning, six for visitors, ten for home, two balls, one strike, two outs. It's gonna be a game. It's almost over, guys. So, awesome. We got a nice little baseball stadium right there. I see no issues yet. So, 
And we're almost there to our next milestone. We're almost to 5,000 people. My video disliked being alive, so let's go back in. So, 45 Gunner, do you want to be a building district street um, person? I think that's pretty much that. Be careful. Uh, I'm going to recommend being careful with that. That's all I can recommend is be careful. So, how so? You just tell me what you want to be. We could even have a 45 gun or baseball field if you want that. Um, and then I'll add you in. We'll continue building the city. And you can be like the six knights right here at historic building. No more kids, but. Or darts. Or you could be like uh, Creamy Mean, uh, Creamy McLeamy, and have the Zach's Breakfast right here, which right now Brittany Ward is looking at. So it's all up to you what you want to do. Um, there's a lot of options you guys have. And money is tight, very tight on money right now. But hopefully people coming in will resolve that very quick. Okay, let's see if we can find you. Let's see if we can find a nice uh, pub. So, it has meat shop. There's T-Mobile, <laughs> just on the edge of town. Um, that looks like a nice little pub if you want that. Um, what is this? this is I guess. So you got the Quiet Corner sh uh, Shop on Flinch. Uh, you got Medium Mug Cafe if you want that one. really depends on what type of style of building you want. And I might as well go first person here. So, you got this entire strip right here. So, and this little one right here. Or if you want, I can just choose at random and we'll just settle. That's Bank of America. You don't want a Bank of America. You got Andy's Bowling Alley. I could build my own, but that would be a lot of work. So, I try not to. That was really awkward. Okay. Mm -hmm. That ambulance is flying. You got the In-N-Out Burger, or whoopsie, the Down-N-Out Burger, if you want that. I think it's all commercial on this side. Uh, Bank of America, I don't know what this building is, if you want it. Well, the Amish, the Amish deserves it. Best sales ever, it's like a donut shop. You got Andy's uh, uh, breakfast. Ooh, sorry, I almost forgot that. You got Sally's. Bunch of office ones. You got the Starlight right there. You got Fowl Oil, Shell, Marketplace. So, got a lot of little places if you, if there's anyone you want. 
Or if there's like a theme you want me to look up. You got Boston Pizza. Oh, we got uh, our newest milestone. So that's awesome. So, yay! You know, rebuild, fast recovery, old town. Bunch of new roads. New hospitals. We finally got the bus station. So if we wanted, we could do busing. Skate park, road maintenance. Pumping service, weather radar, fire stations, all that stuff. We got the Burger King, another Pennies. Simple, Ozone. Uh, BBQ. Got some BBQs. Here's another, like, another little pub area. Pancakes International, Subway, Ice Cream Shop. So, a lot of little areas. I don't see any particular one that I would say is a pub, per se. But if you saw any that you like, you just tell me where and uh, get down to it. Ooh, fire. We're gonna have fire. Yep, fire's coming. Cool. Taking a nice slow time. <laughs> Look at that traffic build up there. But it's the easiest way to keep this thing flowing. Alright, so let's check the traffic flow real quick. 70% and it's mostly right here and it's because if I don't let it happen uh oh uh oh that's problematic that place is on fire luckily the fire department is right here to save it but it's gonna lock traffic up and they did they put it out awesome cool they put it out with their eyes Place next to B O A. Okay, so I'm guessing you mean B O Q. So like this location right here. Or are you talking about this one? Or you should definitely get off the stream and go to the doctor's. Creamy McCleamy. Or do you want the one next to the subway? So you got like three right next to each other. Now that you decide real quick, you got quiet corner shop, convenience store, and general store. So, quiet, convenience. That's not too bad either. I don't know what you mean by that's not too bad either. A little bit more context would help me narrow this choice down for you. But we are running low on funds. Next to the subway. Subway, subway, subway. And right here. Okay. This little one. You want this one? And then I need to get your name, so what do you want to call it, that one? What's on the other side? The other side is the BBQ and then the International House of Pancakes. And then you got this like Hub uh, store area. You got the Pawn Brothers, Jay's Hat something, and Ninja School. Oh? Oh? Is that what you want? This little one? The drugstore? Can you make it. This? 
if you want. Do you want that? No, back left. Okay. So, this one. You're gonna have the label Marol Marelles on it, but okay, cool. So we're gonna name that. Whoopsie. Boom. There we go. So now forever, this little shop will be here forever. You want the exclamation point? Okay. Congratulations on being getting married. I think we celebrated that with the mountain church right up here. Where is it? Right here. So, there's your celebrative mountain church. Right now it's nighttime, so not a lot of people are coming to it. But. So, sadly, the subway next to you. Uh, Comm Commodore Carl's Pub is complaining about low land value. How dare it? We literally just put Commodore Carl's Club. Yeah. Commodore Carl's Pub right next to it, and it's still complaining about low DJ land value. And a four -year -old quarter horse named um, let's see. What can we well, This put? is Jimmy Fry's cover the year from Studio 2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks uh, like someone's uh, horsing around. <laughs> That's... Okay, 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 easy. Easy boy. Skate park and we'll we'll play your favorite skate hits. Park. Give out great prizes and right laugh next. your way through your commute. Jimmy and the Stallion. Now, stable mm. entertainment only on City's radio. Can we play the skate park right there? No. There? Ah, oh, so close. It almost fits. It almost Hello, fits I'm your perfectly. Host, Al, and right here will fit. Radio. Awesome. Sometimes we won't cover I like to the check land. our listener emails and see what people are talking about. Here's one. Al, okay, no what are you doing this weekend? Volleyball court? Well, I don't have any plans really. I think I might go to the zoo again and try to communicate with the animals. It won't be in the Last land. weekend I was close to a breakthrough, but a cow kept telling me to move and I lost my place. So what nope. are you listening okay. to do this weekend? Drop us a um, line and let us know. Maybe I'll can't put there. that out yet. It's Super Salmon Days down at Fish Brothers. We just gotta find something that we can increase the land value free. with. You heard right. Bring in any fish and get a put a high school football stadium right next to the baseball fish. court. Got a swordfish lying around. Then put a high school next to that. Got a goldfish you're sick of feeding. Bring it in. Got a fish that's been sitting in the sun. Oh, we'll try to get there. Bring we'll try. We'll throw it in with the rest I think we'll of put we the high school football court right next to the baseball. Your salmon, with our and then we'll put stew. the high school so, right next to the door to that. So, you got your football court, your baseball court, and we're going to put a high school the best music once we get enough home. money right next door. Where's our elementary school? Yeah, that sucks. We'll put it right here. Even though I don't want it right here, we'll put it right here. Actually, we might put it across the street. Oh, that's a big ice cream. Let's put the small one. Right. Come on, money. We're almost there. So close. And we can educate all these people. There we go. Look at how many people we just educated. And I love it. Look at all those people. There we go. Nice little football court we can do. I am in like the neighborhood. There we go. Nice 
nice little football field we can go into. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, whoop, there we go. So now we have a high school that already has 820 students. 828 now. Oh my gosh, and now not nah, a single person walking in here yet. Oh my gosh, we also have a fire. Pretty raging fire. Please tell me there's an emergency vehicle coming. Yeah, we just got to go through this area. Whoop. Come on, fire trucks. Come, put the fire out. Put the fire out. Go. Yay. I think he was talking about the game or some aspect of the game. Bye bye, fire truck. That house is badly burnt. So, nice high school area. Beautiful. So. I uh, like it. I want fire insurance from my pub. I have lots of fires there. I can't give you fire insurance. At most, let me check something. Let's see. Daniel, you're going to have to move over here real quick. Um, I already have fire uh, smoke detector distribution. Uh, let's see. What else could I do? Not, not really much more I can do. Nope. You want a fire station right next door? Well, once we start making money again, I'll do that. We're right now losing money quite, quite significantly. Uh, climbing back up, up, oh, no, we're back down. Oh, uh, no. We're, we're going down. Oh, we're going back up. There we go. Slowly climbing back up. But I'll make note to put a fire station right here. I'll take out Sally, put a fire station right there. What? Oh, no, too big. Oh, still too big. Nope, still too big. Even bigger. Humongous. So we'll put a little one right here. One of these two. I think we're gonna put that one. Sixty thousand dollars right there. So you you're gonna be well protected. But I think it actually evens out. Yeah, if we put a big one right here, that will carry, that will protect this entire area. Also, we have people who want to move in and we don't have any place to put them. So let's drop some neighborhood here. There we go. Uh, yeah, we should actually fill this out. Which means we're soon going to have to go across the street and fill out this area. Which that's going to suck. Is up oh, fire. Ooh, massive fire. Two buildings on fire. I see the fire truck. It's trying to make it. Hopefully the fire is not going to spread any. Oh, there it is. It's slowly making it. Everything's on fire, guys. Yep, here it comes. It's 
coming down the road. Look at this massive fire. Go put out the fire, firefighters. You totally missed this building, but hey, it's all fine. Hopefully enough fire winds coming somewhere. Yep, there it is. Right over there. Come on, firefighter. Put out the fire. Yay, the building saved. Kind of. Both of these work more like tall bit bricks right now, but in time they will become better. And we're earning money again. I think this road, now that it has a high school, is going to have to get upgraded, which means this road's going to have to get upgraded. Uh, that is... Seattle. Oh my gosh, look how popular a football stadium is. 60 people are coming every 20 minutes. Uh-oh, somebody died at a football stadium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see, there's a baseball stadium. Baseball stadium not as popular, but also there's a giant rock in the center of our baseball stadium. Oh, it's gone now. It's back. It's the disappearing rock. We're gonna move that. Let's move that rock, can we? Nope. Because it's not really there. Ooh, it's there. It's not there. Graphics. So, but not too bad though. I think we're gonna be fine. We used to be well, I'm actually about to head off myself, so I hope you all had a great night. I think the city is actually a lot better than it was before we left. Definitely want to upgrade this road. We might do that real quick before I get off. Because I like screwing myself over the next day. Uh, we want a two. Or two. There's no two line of the two line, so we're gonna choose four line? Yeah. Cool. So let's upgrade this. Now traffic should flow a lot smoother. Now that people can pass each other and all that good stuff. Oh, somebody was sick. There's a lot of problems at this at this football stadium, guys. Or I guess not sick, maybe. Well, I hope everyone has a good night. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, ooh, Friday. Don't know if we'll be playing this game still or what, but we'll talk to you Friday. Uh, Sunday will be NASCAR Heat, so if anyone's interested in that, definitely hit us up on Sunday. That will be from six to eight, two hours. It will be NASCAR Heat 4, so everyone is all excited about that. And bye-bye. Actually, I'm going to pause it first. Bye-bye.